It's early July. The wheat was planted back in September and has survived the harsh winter weather, as well as attacks by pheasants and rabbits. Now it needs to ripen from green to the familiar golden colour. Wow, this is amazing. This really is. It's a bit of a dream come true, this. This is actually probably better than I expected. But with harvest maybe four to six weeks away, weather depending, we've um, still got so many things that could go wrong. If we don't get the harvest right, we cut it too late, it's too dry, you know, if we cut it too soon, it's too green, it won't thresh. Fingers crossed, uh, I'll get it right and I won't look like too much of an idiot. If it's harvested at the right time, the wheat grain from the heads will be sold to make flour for bread. But wheat must be dry before it can be cut. If rain delays the harvest, all it will be fit for is animal feed. This acre of wheat would take our farmers a week of back-breaking work to harvest by hand. But in the 1880s came this, the horse-drawn reaper binder. As its name suggests, it not only cuts the wheat, but binds it into sheaves too, harvesting an acre in as little as an hour. What a contraption. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like something out of a Wallace and Gromit movie, isn't it? <laughs> All these gadgets and levers and wheels and cogs. You've got the cutting face down there, the yep. blades going across. So it takes the wheat up and spits it out the other side, bound somehow. So this is the real labour-saving device. It means that we don't have to run around the field bunching all this stuff up and tying it ourselves. Putting this Victorian contraption back in action is going to be no mean feat. So local farmer Mr Thomas and his son Brian have offered to help. Now you've used one of these, haven't you? Yeah, my father had. Yes, yeah. I've used one of these you for have. several years and with horses. With horses? Right. Oh yes, 1936 when I started right. using one like. And we went on into the... Fifties? Yes. Winding her down into her working position, approximately. Keep going till them wheels is off the ground. That's it. Yeah, you're going down now, lovely. She's quite heavy, isn't she? She is, yeah. Do you prefer working with horses or tractors? Oh, it's a lot easier with tractors. Was it? It was. <laughs> yeah, we get on the seat and ride all day. Yeah. So what's the next job then? Uh, we're going to put the knife in now. Uh, Alex will bring him round to us and we'll pop him in. Yep. Be very careful of that, it's sharp. Yep. Right. Right, so we're ready to cut now, are we? No. no. We we'll get the string in. We've got to have the string in and thread right. it through the okay. needle and through the knocker. Yeah. Strings in here, yes. And it's got to end up where Alex is. This ingenious knotter ties the cut wheat into bundles. Through there, exactly, yes. Invented in 1857 by an 18-year-old Wisconsin farmhand, it was a revolutionary breakthrough. Have you done this job before, Peter, or not? Uh, no, sorry? no, I've, I've never done no. this before. Well, you're quite a professional at it. I think you seem to <laughs> you've got this much. completely under control. So I think I might need to pass over to you, Alex. Yes, okay. Alex, yes. yes. Lift the axe and just get down in there. You'll see right. it coming through there now, Alex. You can you set that all there? See that. Catch up. Yeah, you've got I've the got that. Up. Right, OK. And it's basically like a, like a giant sewing machine, this mechanism, That's right, right. isn't it? This is the yes. most complicated yes. part of the whole procedure. Yes. Right. Okay. Pull a bit more out, you haven't got enough to... A little bit more, more there. That's better. Right, yeah. hold, hold it tight. And Pete is going to turn over manually just to check yes. if right. it works OK. Here it comes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's clear. Uh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem I, there, Pete. Let's no. try it again, then. Let's, let's, try it again. Pull, let's pull that. It shouldn't make any difference in here. No. When was this machine last used? Have you any idea? Maybe we should try it then with a, yes. you think, with a sheep? Yeah, I should put the straw yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right on there, right. basically. Yes, ready to go. Yes. yes. She tied it, yes. And we have a shelf tied. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look. Excellent. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, not it up properly, see? Yeah. Yes. That's brilliant. That is yeah, going to save us an enormous amount of time. Really good. Mm -hmm. So is it good to see this working again after so many years? Oh, yes. It's very nice to see it working like the boys said. <laughs> yes. But I, I wouldn't like to go out and work with it all day now. No. <laughs> Straw, the stem of the wheat plant, will be a byproduct of the harvest once the valuable grain is removed.